I'm Leslie McCarthy, Assistant Governor for the Gateway West Cluster, and I also wish to extend my welcome to everybody at the District 9800 Annual Conference. I would like to introduce some of the projects and activities of the Rotary Clubs in the Gateway West Cluster. This is the fourth year the Rotary Club of Brimbank Central has completed a World Community Service Project in the Philippines. Last year, a devastating typhoon caused extensive destruction and loss of life. The club project provided a container of food and household items, fresh water filtration units and replacement fishing and rescue boats. Club members packed and shipped the container last March with assistance from a local Filipino group. The water filtration systems were installed from May and three rescue boats were delivered in June. With contributions from clubs in the Gateway West Cluster, they provided 12 fishing boats to rebuild the fishing industry on Bayas Island, a community severely impacted by the typhoon. The Rotary Club of Keelor is a major contributor to Australian Rotary Health Foundation. The foundation relies on the generosity of Rotary Clubs throughout Australia to fund its research project into bowel cancer. Funds are used for clinical studies, education grants and to support patients. This year, the club donated $394,000, principally funded by a bequest from retired nurse Judith Thompson. This donation was arranged through the contacts of past president David Whiting. The cheque was presented to Australian Rotary Health Director Greg Ross at a club meeting in June. The Rotary Club of Kilo East has now adopted the Days for Girls project. International Director Sherry Osborne has initiated a program to source and assemble reusable feminine hygiene kits to be distributed in underdeveloped countries. These easy to use and washable kits will allow women to continue to attend education programs and workplaces. Currently, in many countries, women are forced to remain at home denied personal development and career opportunities due to the cultural stigma associated with menstruation. The club's first kit makeup day attracted 14 club members, with many volunteering to continue assembling the kits at home. The Rotary Club of Sunshine continued its long-running project supporting schools in Samoa. Each year, they ship a container of school equipment and distribute the goods to schools throughout the islands. In 2008, a typhoon destroyed much of the infrastructure in the seaside village of Salapanga on the island of Upalu. The club, together with village chiefs, began a project to refurbish a community house for tourist accommodation. The club has raised $50,000 and subsequently built six motel-style rooms and six native huts on the beach. The goals of this project are to provide the village with a steady income and employment opportunities for local people. Club President Peter Schultheis was present when the resort was officially reopened by Samoan Prime Minister Malia Logai in July 2014. The Rotary Club of Tullamarine has a long-term relationship with the Heart Kids Foundation. Heart Kids provides support, encouragement and hope to families of children with severe heart disease while raising awareness and vital funding for research into the causes of this chronic condition. The Heart Kids Dinner, organised by the club, attracted over 400 people and is sponsored by the local community. In 2014, the dinner raised $35,000. Well, thanks for listening and I hope you enjoy the conference and have a great time in Tasmania.